listening to an executive summary of the E-Myth Revisited, and they were like, you should build your business like a franchise, so you have interchangeable solutions and the lowest possible quality skilled work. Are you actually going to franchise? No, but I mean, like, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So I have a little bit of background in that um, from 15 years ago. The guy that I learned, I cut my teeth in a business, opened up a franchising system, so I learned exactly what that was, how really? it works, oh, it's master cool. operating agreements, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it is expensive, mm -hmm. but it is extremely lucrative when you have it set up. To me, it was insane. Like, so the, the um, hopefully none of your franchisees in the future are watching this. But what it tend, what it really catered to was um, the average corporate America person that what didn't have the balls to take the risk themselves to right. go out and do it, and they felt Which they needed a to, lot of. Uh, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. um, they needed to pay, you know, they pay you upfront a seventy five thousand dollar training fee to be part of your system, and then they have an ongoing yearly it's fee like of investors. Yeah, results. I mean, it's a lot of these guys have to be liquid for like three or four hundred thousand dollars coming in the door. Oh. Um, and, they, and they're out there. And then you, there's actual companies that sell franchises mm -hmm. for you. So they'll sell your franchises. And then you have master franchises, which a master franchise controls multiple franchises inside of it. So and investors does. Home investors, right. So, that, so you might have somebody in the Pennsylvania master franchise and everything else. Like that's that. too. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's beautiful about them is a, a franchise system is the – um, the compete, the competition, or mess, you know, so let's say you want to open a wholesaling franchise, right? Yeah. And somebody goes and tries to do a deal on the side, you do not want to mess with those contracts. You can bury the, the like you everything they own, personal guarantee done. Like it is a contract you are not getting out. There's like a few contracts you don't get out of, you know, the payroll tax with the government. Don't fuck with that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know that's one that takes you to your grave. Yeah. A master franchise agreement is an agreement that is unreal. So, um, you know, your franchisees will operate, should be operating within their, uh, you know, they don't want to mess around with the integrity of the business. Yeah.